You may have seen this video of a woman tumbling right into a fountain at the mall while she's texting. It might make you chuckle, but Consumer Reports says phones put pedestrians in a fog. Clearly, drivers aren't the only people distracted by electronic devices. Pedestrians are too, and it can be dangerous. In a just released nationwide poll, Consumer Reports found that 85% of Americans had recently seen someone use a mobile device to talk, text, email, or use apps while walking. Of those who had witnessed such behavior, 52% said that the pedestrians endangered themselves or others. The numbers are hard to pin down, but injuries occurring while pedestrians are using a mobile device appear to be going up. A project by a former Ohio State University graduate student estimates injuries of non motorized people, mostly pedestrians, distracted by cell phones, are increasing by more than 180 a year. Falling into a fountain might be funny. What's not funny, though, is when you hear stories of people walking and texting when they're crossing the street. After reading about several fatalities that authorities suggest were related to distracting walking, Audrey Cole says she won't text and walk at all anymore. I don't think it matters where you live or what your town is like. I just think that a pedestrian in today's times must be vigilant and aware of their surroundings. And it's foolish to not be looking up. Now Audrey does exactly what Consumer Reports suggests and acts like a driver, pulling over to answer a call or a text. Authorities in some cities are even starting to crack down on distracted walkers, giving out tickets to pedestrians who walk and talk or walk and text. In Utah, for example, crossing train tracks while talking or texting on a cell phone could earn you a $50 fine. Dina Silk, 2 News, works for you.